Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and today I'm going to be doing an empty journal collection. I did one of these sometime last year, around about just close to the time where I first started doing YouTube videos, about like a few videos in then I did um, an empty journal um, video. And so I'm going to be doing another one since it's pretty close to the time where I've actually have done YouTube videos for, for a year. Um, I'm going to be doing a used journal collection video um, pretty soon after I finish doing um, my Chick Sparrow flip throughs so you can all see the journals that I have used um, for the past, I don't know, year that you've actually seen. So for anyone who has actually seen my empty journal video you'll probably see that I had this box and this box has actually remained untouched. I haven't used any of these at all. They're just sitting here, I guess, waiting to be used or something. Um, so I don't know what to do because I do want to use them, except, like, I don't know, but I just don't. I don't, like, oh, I didn't mean to throw it. <laughs> I didn't mean to throw that. Oh, my gosh. Um, I want to use these, but there's something always, like, better than them, if that makes any sense. I'm always using the one that I think is, like, better in my mind. And I don't know. I'm going, like... I probably will eventually use them when I'm at that time where I'm like, okay, I need to stop buying new ones. Um, so I'll, I'll quickly run through them. I've just got a visual art diary from Big W, and I remember I started watercoloring, um, watercolor painting, yeah, painting with watercolors. Oh, uh, language is just not good right now. <laughs> As always, like I see my videos sometimes, but anyway, moving on. <laughs> um, I started painting these pages and I actually don't think I finished doing it. No, I stopped kind of just about halfway. And that was because I was kind of in the um, space of colouring my pages. Um, I had a journal which was like pink and it had like a little ribbon thing. I'll show you, I'll show you a similar one that I have that's empty. But I was colouring the pages and I think I started doing it with this one as well. So there's that one. Uh, these two, I think, or oh, three actually, these three are the exact same and these are from Target and I remember I got these on sale, I think they were like a dollar or two dollars or something. They're a bit hard to open, so it doesn't like open all the way unless you really like bend the spine. So this one here is from Target and it's just a little cat journal and, oh, and it's got a key on it and a lock and the pages are coming out because it's one of these journals where you rip the page out like really easily. And I remember I started actually taping it so they wouldn't come out, but I think I just like um, couldn't be bothered within like the first five or something pages. Um, yeah. But I mean, I could use this as like journal paper, like if I make my own journals. I actually have been looking at some videos of journals that, um, that you can just make yourself, and I actually have made a few in the past, about like two years ago. Um, but then I just kind of got out of it. Next was this sketchbook. This is from a discount store and I was going to use this as one of my journals like um, after I finished, after I completed one and I was watercoloring the pages and for some reason I just thought, oh, I don't want to use this anymore. So it's just, I put it back in the box and yeah. Then was this one. Uh, I got this from Aldi. Um, last year I think, last year two years, I don't know, obviously last year, has been used and it's just got like this flamingo and little pineapple and watermelons and banana. So these ones are from Bookface and these were all discounted and I don't think these were shown in the video that I did last year. So these are new to you guys I think. Uh, this one is actually, this is one is actually kind of funky. They've put the sticker differently so it's like it's actually upside down if you know what I mean so the writing like it's meant to be like this and it's got like the little writing thing there I don't know what that says Mondo Art? Modo Art? I don't know I don't know what that is anyway so you got the writing there but then you close it and it's got the sticker there it's like whoops that was a bit of a boo-boo uh, they did put the bookmark properly right I think yeah they did Anyway, that's that one. These ones are the same, they've just got different cover designs. And this one's two dollars, and I don't know why this was cheaper than that one. I'm pretty sure they're the exact same. Yeah, exact same brand, I think. 
I don't know why there'll be like a dollar difference. But oh well. Can't really complain, they're on sale. It was 2016 when I got this, and it was from a gift store. And this was like one of the first leather journals I bought, except I haven't even used it. And I did the same thing I was doing with the first journal I showed you guys. So I started watercoloring the paper, except I didn't even I didn't even get halfway through, not even a quarter through. Um so yeah. I've kind of changed my mind about this one just mainly because of the size. It's it's really small, like it's like the size of my hand. Okay, so all these ones are left to last because they were all from the same company. These were all from Typo, which is what this box is from. Typo, yeah, Cotton On. Part of the Cotton On group, I think, or is it? Yeah, it actually is like owned by Cotton On. Oh, yeah, yeah I think so. <laughs> I think that's right. Uh, so these are all pretty much A5 spirals. All the way to the bottom, uh, these have... How many pages? This one has... 240. So these ones with the three um, dividers have 240 on them. This one is just uh, 192, I think. I'm gonna guess 192. I'm gonna guess 192. Where well, it's got that one, it's just a single one there. And it's that one, and this doesn't build, that's not from Typo. This is just another sketchbook, and that's from Big W. And it's just all these different designs. And I think I bought two of the same for this one, accidentally. And yeah, got two of the same. Whoopsie. Um, these are more of the 300 or 200. Um, 240. Is that one? I love the cover of that. <laughs> and is that one? And I bought two of the same again. And oh, there's more of the 240s. That one there. And Star Wars, and yeah. These are all pretty much the exact same, just different covers. Lines are the same. Uh, some of these have an elastic band. I don't know why this one doesn't. Um, oh, there's also these ones. These are um, A4 notebooks that I that I bought. Uh, I was thinking of using them for journaling, but I think they're just a bit too big. Like I never used a journal like this large, like A4. Um, if I do, I'll, it'll be actually kind of interesting to see me actually use an A5 one. And there's that one. This is pretty. And this is the first one I actually ever bought. Actually, no, I didn't buy this. My cousin did for my birthday present, or birthday, Christmas actually. And this is how I actually found out about Tarpo because I looked down the bottom and, oh, I wonder what that is. Looked it up. It was a stationery store gift thing. <laughs> yeah. So, that's everything in the box. That uh, is pretty much the exact same from last year, except from those few that I told you about from Bookface. Okay, now to the fun stuff. Um, the stuff that has not been shown from last year, uh, some of it has, but most of it hasn't. So I'm going to start with this little stack here. This one was a birthday present that I got this year. And I was saying earlier how I had a pink journal which had like the little ribbon thing. Not a ribbon, like cord I should say. And um, I was using one, this was like the first type of journal which I started uh, using watercolours in. This one was from Bookface and I think it was like $40, $30. And there's a handmade and it's got a little crow on it that's been printed onto a canvas cover. Like this. And it's just got, it's like a little insert thing, I, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, wait, oh, I don't know. Oh, no, it's not an insert, no. It's not an insert, it's, yeah, glued on there. Um, and it's got a little bit of paper because it's got like another little crow there. And these are just plain white paper that has uh, got like the ripped edge there. I like the ripped edge, they're pretty cool. It looks nice. And it actually feels nice as well, it feels soft. Um, this is another one from Bookface. I got this for my birthday as well, um, from my boyfriend. He knew, um, he actually didn't know what to get me. So we ended up going out and um, buying something that I liked, if I saw it. And I saw this in Bookface and I was like, oh yeah, sure you can get that for me if you like. And he did, so that was very nice of him. Uh, this is $12 and... It's Pretty much like, not, not, yeah, it's the exact same. There you go. It's another one of the blue ones that I just, that I just showed you. Um, so it's got the same brand there. 
And it's the same paper, just different cover, of course. Um, I'm actually going to leave this one to later because this one has actually, like, got a few friends to go with it. I got this one at a conference last year called Ignite. You've probably heard me mention it a couple of times. Uh, they had a gift uh, stall and I saw this and I was like, I need. So I got. <laughs> I need, so I got it. Uh, it's just got little uh, Bible passages in there and little quotes that are really nice. This one has a Bible verse on the front, and this is from this gift store um, just in my town. And it has all like these Bible um, books, DVDs, CDs, all this, all this um, Christian Catholic things. I love the colour of it, and I love the quote on it. And it feels like really nice when you open it and flip it open, like it just comes apart like that. I've got this one. Uh, won't really go into the story behind this one, but... Let's just say um, I bought this for someone for their birthday and they're not giving it back to me when they left town, which is kind of it. Okay, that's fine. That wasn't your gift at all. What are you talking about? Anyway, um, I won't open up because I just got a few things in there that they gave me. But anyway, these five are just awaiting to be used. These are all Loitrum journals and... I always have trouble pronouncing it's Leuctrum or Leuctrum. I, I always change how I say it. Uh, so firstly, uh, I'm just going to split these up. This was the first one I bought. I think this was off the Nile. And it was the first one I bought, like I just said. And I ended up using another one before it that I bought. It was a berry one, which I used. And if you guys watched my used journal video... Oh, wait, hold on. End of your journal tag. End of your journal tag, you would have seen it. And it just got absolutely massive, like, wow, like that big. And this is waiting to be used. <laughs> um, this one was a 100 Years Revolution Edition. It's still in its plastic. Like, all these, all these ones are still in its plastic. And I put all these ones in the same order. So these were all uh, metallic ones. So I've got the gold. Actually, I don't think they're metallic. I don't know. They look metallic, but I don't think they were, like, metallic in the title. I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> Been long ago. So it's got the silver, the gold, and the bronze. These next ones are Peter Pauper Press journals. And, okay, you guys heard me talk about Peter Pauper Press. Can't get enough of them. <laughs> uh, the place that I bought, bought these from is Bookface again. Except they always have the same ones now. And the only ones that I haven't bought the ones with the magnetic cover flap and I don't like them because as you know I journal a lot I glue a lot of things and the magnet just won't work anymore eventually so these ones are all from Officeworks and the reason why I counted them was because they were four dollars each and I bought five of them I remember because the total was twenty dollars I don't know I remember things like that but anyway so this first one has a cardboard feel to it and it's just got little foxes on the on the sides actually not the sides the covers the back and the front, no, front and back. Mm. Okay, <laughs> and it's got little details, oh, not details, um, just designs inside the cover, and just got your normal lined pages. This one is like a cork, corkboard kind of thing. Uh, this one has a black D on the front, just a black D head. It's the inside cover, and just your normal lines. Uh, this one's a soft cover, and it's kind of like, not extremely soft, but you know, you can bend it easily. And it's got the rounded edges instead of pointed straight edges, I guess. I definitely got this one because it's got, oh, hold on. This is, oh, that's from a different place. Haha, <laughs> whoopsie, let's talk about that later. <laughs> um, this one is from, oh yeah, Office Works again. Uh, wait, hold on. That means I'm missing one of them. Because I said I had five. Oh, found it. Alright. <laughs> this one replaced this one. Anyway, so. Uh, I'm actually going to go back to this one. <laughs> Sorry, got a bit mixed up. So this one has little flowers and rosebuds on it. And I love the cover inside of it. Love the pink polka dots. And lastly, the one from Officeworks is this one. That is, um, it's got different pictures on it, I guess. Kind of old-fashioned, I guess. 
olden day looking things. So we've got the glasses, just notebooks, um, typewriters and a globe, pencil sharpener. Oh, I remember those pencil sharpeners. <laughs> I haven't seen one of these in ages. I loved using them as a kid uh, when I was sharpening my pencils. Anyway, uh, that's just inside. And yeah, these are all from uh, Spotlight and they were $1.99 each. This one has recycled paper, and I've never used one of these where it has the stitch binding on the side there, or well, on the spine. And it looks really nice, like the paper feels nice, the paper looks nice. And it's just Collected & Co. from by Micador. And it's an A5. All these ones are A5. And I bought this one, I had to buy this one because of the sewing machines. I love sewing, love textiles. So I thought that would kind of suit me very well. And it's got little sewing machines on the corners, up there and down there as well. This one just red and it's got kind of like this, I don't know how to say it, diamond shapes on the side there. And it's pretty much the exact same inside, it's just with the uh, lines. This cover's different obviously. It's got the blue blue cover and the hexagon, uh, octo oh my goodness. Hexagon! <laughs> <laughs> Hexagon sides. Next ones are these ones. I bought this one from Ignite as well. At the same day, I bought the one that I just showed, which was uh, this one. So I bought these at the same time, same place, but different stall. This was made at a. Um, I think it had like a little store name on this. The Trading Circle. Yeah, I think. So that was the tag on it. And it just showed uh, what the funds were going to just for women in Thailand in the Regina Centre. And these were handmade. And it's just got a little notebook with the lines and spirals. And this can actually come out of its cover like that. So if I want to take this out and use this for something else, another journal, I can easily do that. So this one is from a news agency. I actually haven't seen it uh, in on the shelves when I go in there. So they might not have it anymore. Luckily I bought it because I've been looking at it. Uh, well, I was looking at it for a while. And it actually opens up pretty well. So you just open it up straight away and it just goes right to your page. And just lays kind of flat pretty much, which is good. This one was from Bookface as well. And I don't know where the key is. I would open it if I could. But uh, actually I think I have it I think I know where it is, I just can't be bothered getting it because I'm lazy. I'm comfy on the floor right now, I don't want to get up. Don't judge me. Anyway, so uh, I actually didn't know what Alice Miranda was until I looked it up. Like, was it a character? Was it just like a thing? Obviously it was a character because it was on the cover. And um, when I bought it, it was, in the plastic. it was in plastic and so I didn't see how wide the lines were. And the lines are actually pretty thick. So about, um, I'm trying to like think right now, about one centimetre? One centimetre about? I don't know. I think it's about a centimetre. Like, what does that look like? I don't know. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it looks about a centimetre, which is kind of way too thick. I don't, I don't use lines that are that thick, but just because it's got the lock on it, I might use it because, you know, I want to lock my secrets away. I want to keep my secrets safe. This one was from Kmart. Uh, this had uh, lots of pages in it. It's got... Uh, oh, here we go. This is kind of just slightly thicker, about to there. This is what the width of the lines is for this one. Anyway, I think it's got 300 and something pages in it. Uh, actually, I had some other ones from Kmart, which I'll show as well. Um, got these two. And it just got you can you can if you think you can and stay true stay you and they've got a new range of journals that came out and I am trying to not buy them all because they were really really pretty and nice as usual and my carpet is actually atrocious I'm so sorry like ugh. I all I, I vacuum but then it gets like so messy and I just saw a pin that's dangerous stay safe kids don't use pins in your room. Unless you're doing a major textiles work and you need them. I'm going to put that away. Anyway. Okay. Moving on. Uh, so, yeah. I've actually used two of Kmart journals. 
I uh, remember I bought four of them when I bought these and I've already used two. As you guys would have seen in my used journal, I, why do I keep saying used journal video? Because I wouldn't have used it then. In my end of year journal tag. That's right. Should be right. If not, then embarrassing. These ones are from Target. And these are just composition books. And oh, this one's funky. I've just got to tell you about that one. These are just composition books. And I've used a few of them for different purposes. I had, I think, about four of them. But then I took them apart and made my, a journal, which I will show. And I just used the cardboard of these to make it. And it's got 100 sheets, so 200 paper, 200 pages. And this is the funky one. Like, it's got the cover there. But then the composition thing is on this side and it's like, I don't know how to do this. I, I don't know. I don't know what this is. But it's got a um, bell on it. It was a Beauty and the Beast edition. And the paper, the paper is actually thin, thinner than this one. So this one is from Target and it's just got, a, uh, I don't know how to say it, like rose gold? Rose gold uh, little emblem writing thing on here and it's just got marble cover I think I, I feel like I'm repeating myself so much I'm so sorry and it's got a decent amount of pages it's, but I'm gonna guess 192 or 240 around that and lays flat like that which is very nice and uh, what else is there oh, it's these three these three came in a pack and they are from Aldi and it was just like one of those limited sales that they have. So I've just got this one just saying make it happen. Um, oops. Jot it down. And it's a plan, not a problem. And these are in a, a plastic, um, clear plastic box kind of thing. And so I really wasn't able to see and open how good these journals would be if I was to write in them. And as you might have seen, if you try to open it... <laughs> Try and open a page, it just it doesn't it doesn't open properly. So like you really have to like really ram the pages across to open. And I don't want to do that because it feels like I'm just gonna break this straight off. And I guess the kind of the good thing about this one is the paper is very like it's thick. It's not it's not like the composition paper I was just showing, it's not like this paper. It's like this one's very thin this one's like thick uh. so the only like really literally the downside here is just because it, I can hardly open it so it's just putting me off using it so I have a feeling this, these ones these ones are gonna stay empty for a while um next is this one I've mentioned I think I've mentioned this one sometime but this is when I was using uh, leather journals. Well, one of the leather, one of the leather journals I've used was this size as well, and it was similar to this, and it just had like the little straps. It's in my journal box, and you know what I'm talking about. It's the big leather one that you've seen previously. Uh, I've mentioned before. Yeah, this is you. You guys have seen this before. I'm pretty sure I've seen shown this in another video. I thought about um, not buying this just because of the claspings, but at the same time, I really did like them, which is why I bought it. But now I'm thinking I'm, I probably won't be even able to really use it without, I don't know, filling it up with stuff. Because <laughs> this will probably get crazy thick and it's just these just won't even work anymore. So I've just got a couple more. So I've just got a few more before this video finishes. So I've got this one which was given to me for my birthday a few years ago. And it's the House Baratheon uh, from Game of Thrones. And I want to grab... Uh, the other houses if I ever find them. I know they're online, but I want to find them just like around town where I live Because I'm pretty sure like a particular place sells them. I just forgot the name of it uh, It's got the lines here, which is kind of the same width as Lightroom journals And I don't know how many pages it has But I think it's I'm gonna guess 192 And I love Game of Thrones, so I'm definitely going to use this uh, in the future Um. This one was given to me this year for my birthday and my friend knows I love journaling and this is actually a bullet journal and it's got little stickers in it and I have never tried bullet journaling before 
and it's got little dots in it. I don't know how much you can see that, but he's got them there. Uh, this one is what I was talking about earlier with those composition books. This journal I actually made for my assessment for textiles last year. Um, this was before I started uh, my major work for textiles. And what I did was I've got uh, bits of fabric, I dyed them, sewed them together and just slipped in the cardboard cover. And this has cotton um, wadding on it. And it's got the little label, applique on, and it's got little flowers that I've dyed. Um, this little daisy chain, and I've just got little beads up in there. I don't know if you can really see that, but... Yeah, little glass beads. And I did some crochet flowers, and some little hand embroidery flowers. And I've just got the beads um, for stalks. I was going to do something on the back, but I don't think I had enough time for it. And the thing that's annoyed me with this one is... Um, the this cut this back cover is actually like wrong like the cotton batting is on oh, wadding I should say sorry the cotton wadding is on this side not this side so this side's actually hard this one's soft so that's annoyed me and I remember I think I noticed this when I was doing a video about it I think yeah I did a video on um, how I made this and just things I did with it um, if you want to watch that I'll put a link in the description hopefully I'll remember that if I don't just comment and I'll do it. Um, so yeah, I've got the pages from the composition book in here, and it's got the little button, and it's got the ribbon, which has been sewn into the side there. Um, thing, another thing that annoys me about this is because the cover is, like, uneven, so this one's kind of taller, actually lower, I should say, and I've just kind of done the cryptic stitching, which is, I don't know, kind of, it's a bit dodgy, but anyway. I think I got pretty good marks for it, which was good. So that is all the empty journals. I'm like looking under my bed because that's where they normally live. Um, oh, I might as well just show where my journals actually live. Um, I don't know how to do this. Ugh. Okay. So this is like my little filming area. Where is me? Yeah. So oh, I'm just like showing where my journals live. So there's like my journal box, and this is my bed, and that has pens in it. That green thing. So this is a box, um, that box there has, um, paper in it, might as well show it, I don't know, might as well, um, just different papers that I might use, um, if I was, I actually do want to start, um, like I was saying earlier, I actually want to start doing, making my own journals and stuff, so I've just got a heap of different paper in there, just like scraps that I've used, just for like watercolours and all that, um, this is, some of these are pages from books. Just, uh, the pages that I've kind of taken out kind of you use it's got some brushes in here okay that's, that's neat it's got some photos from a calendar there um anyway my hand's actually getting cramped now oops <laughs> um anyway so yeah this is like literally where they stack pretty much like here here and I've got some normally under there it's like under this little bit uh, I don't know can't, ugh. Okay, there. <laughs> I couldn't even like find my own hand then. Anyway, so yeah, that's kind of where everything is stored, I guess. Um, oh, the box I was showing earlier was under there. I've got a power cord there. That's where the box goes, and this is my whole dresser drawer thing. Lives under there, and it just fits like it's touching the top of the thing there. Anyway, so, uh, I'm actually going to finish this video now. This is probably going to be, like, very, very long. And this is the result of a empty journal video. It's got stuff all up there. School shoes. Anyway, so, um, I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. Comment anything you'd like to see from me. And I'll hope to see you all later. Bye.